hello everyone welcome to google form tutorials in this video we are going to look at the general settings that we can uh, change or we can manipulate in the case of google forms so this settings tab is the third tab in the forms that we have full control over let's see what all settings we can control the first thing that we can control is make this a quiz so what happens basically is let's say you have created a google form for the sole purpose of creating an online test so what you want um, is you want to grade the students on the basis of their responses and that becomes very easy through this google forms because it allows you a way through which you can assign points to every question mark the correct answers and google will automatically evaluate those answers so basically if the person has entered a wrong option they will automatically mark it as wrong if they have entered a correct answer it will automatically mark it as correct and would give you the results so uh, this option make this a quiz will give you all this freedom let's just click it on now what happens is there are the bunch of options that you can customize the first is when you want to release the grades so as soon as the students have submitted the form you may want to release the grades to them which is very much possible in the case of a multiple choice question based upon their responses you can just select um, or check that they have entered how many correct options how many incorrect options and release the grade or what you can do is you can release the grades later after you have manually reviewed them this is very much possible in the cases where you want your uh, students to enter some kind of a textual based answers like short answer type questions or long answer type questions something like that so for if you want to keep the responses for manual review then you can just select this option so what i'm going to do is i'm just going to go with an immediate after each submission response now in the case of respondent settings what are the options that we have so uh, missed questions or the questions uh, which they have answered incorrectly do you want them to see that if you enable this option then if someone has submitted their paper they can see which answers they have um, submitted incorrectly and they can tell their friends so maybe let's just turn this off if you want them to see that which answers they have correctly given which were the correct answers then also the same case occurs they can tell their friends and maybe the grades can be manipulated so let's just turn this off as well uh if you want the respondents to tell or respondents to see that how many points how many marks they have got for each question then this point values can be toggled on otherwise we can just turn it off so there is no harm in that let's just toggle it to on now what is the value for every question let's say we have 10 questions and the total that we are going to get on the grade is 100 so every question is going to have a 10 points let's just enter 10 over here okay so this is how you can make sure that this quiz is selected that this options are given to them in the form of a quiz but if you want for a later on a manual review the second option you can select all these options again you can select even after a manual review and providing them with the answers or with the grades afterwards you might want them to see the correct answers or the wrong answers so in this case we can just turn all these three options on se uh, select the points that they are um, that they have scored or maybe assign the points to the question next is the responses that is we can manage how the responses are collected and protected so do you want to collect the email address of all the people who want who have actually answered your questions it is actually required in the case of releasing the grades manually because even if you don't have their email addresses you cannot release their grades manually okay so if i just try to turn it off so what happens is automatically the release grades changes to immediately okay so this we can just toggle on and off on our will and in the case of uh, this option it's mandatory uh if you want the responders to get a copy of their responses we can just select always do you want them to edit their responses no i don't want that is why it's toggled off and how many times they can actually respond so limit to one response do you want them uh, so yeah i want to limit to one response in the case of a test this is a very good option required option let's just limit it to one response 
so that's it for the settings part actually there are some things that needs to be covered which we will be covering in the next video that's it for this video thanks for watching